difference between Jones and the umpire. I think what uh, he might have asked for is the sweatband off Kirtley's uh, right hand. Now, umpire Prue has um, a difficult task here. He has to convince Kirtley Ambrose, who's six foot eight, that he's to take off the sweatband on his right wrist before he bowls to Dean Jones, who has a broken finger. That could generate an extra yard or two from Kirtley, I would think. The thing about it is that if the batsman wants something to be taken from the bowler's hand or arm, then he's well within his rights to ask for it, and the bowler should comply with it because it will catch in the bowler's eye, as uh, catch in the batsman's eye as the uh, bowler's arm comes over. And that's going down leg side, but uh, Kirtley is very interested in Dean Jones' welfare at the moment. Taylor is to face Kirtley Ambrose now, still steaming in. That's in here as well, it should be out, Simmons, and he did well, didn't he do well? Phil Simmons' feet went just as he was about to catch that ball, and he managed to keep his balance, keep his eye on the ball, and another very good delivery from Kirtley Ambrose, this time does see the end of Mark Taylor. Yes, it uh, was a very good catch at the end because uh, he did slip, watch this ball go up in the air, try to hit on the leg side, now just watch Simmons' feet here just slips nearly fell over and he recovered brilliantly what a good catcher he is so Simmons takes the catch so that's the end of Taylor it's two for 48 that's, oh, that's a chance and down that was a very quick delivery from Kirby Ambrose perfectly positioned Junior Murray dived away to his right couldn't cling on to the ball this is lovely bowling from Kirby Ambrose and really Junior Murray will be very disappointed he couldn't hang on to that. It was exactly the right place to bowl to Dean Jones. Yes, he's a tremendous bowler. Away she goes. Tremendous atmosphere, but the West Indies doing well, defending 239. Murray does well, but he's out, straight down the throat. Brian Murray chipped that nicely, but didn't get it fine enough. And Lara takes the catch. And the eighth Australian wicket is down for 187. Dotter made annoyed with himself. Slow ball, too good. Feel me not happy. Oh, he's laughing. Beaten by the change of pace. Kirtley's very impressed with that one. He likes that. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's enjoyed that uh, even more than the uh, some of the bounces that he's bowled. He said it swung four ways. There he comes. We'll see the scene going. Oh, beating for change of pace. Over goes here and then here we also with a sense of humour. Queen bowled by a small boy from the Birmingham Nine for 214. <laughs> 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 this is the final over. It goes in the air. He's got five. Simmons will catch it. Yes, a great performance by the big man. A match-winning effort by Kirtley Ambrose. He picks up five. A very convincing win in the first final to the West Indies. What a splendid performance from the West Indians to bowl out Australia for 214. 49.3 overs. The top score there, Mark Waugh, 51, before he was run out again. Alan Border, 27, and Ian Healy, 33. 214 for Australia. And the bowling figures for the West Indies, well, that gives you a good indication of what a tremendous performer Kirtley Ambrose is. 9.3 overs, two majors, 5 for 32.